Hello gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So today I am going to be talking about all things fragrances that are absolutely delicious. I'm talking about some of the most gorgeous gourmand fragrances in my collection. So if you guys have a sweet tooth, you love to smell like a whole snack, this is the video for you. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to become a part of the family. My name is Karina Waldron. We do a lot of fragrance content with a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle. And of course, follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post pretty much every day. And don't forget to follow my candle brand Illuminar on Instagram. I will leave everything down below. It is starting to get super duper chilly here in Canada. Like the weather is changing. You know, when you wake up and there's a little bit of frost in the car, just a little bit of frost in the car, that's how it feels here which means the warmer scents are starting to come out. I'm talking my more sweet fragrances, my ambery fragrances, my deeper fragrances. They're starting to come out. I have a full basket of fragrances right here in front of me and I'm just gonna go through them, talk to you guys about them and recommend some of the best gourmand fragrances. If you guys have a favorite and it's not in my list, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what are your favorite go-to gourmand scents. A gourmand list would not be a list without the most gourmand fragrances I've ever encountered and that is Italica from Jures Off. This fragrance literally smells like a whole bakery. Like I am not kidding you. If you love the smell of almond croissants, sweetness, nuttiness, vanilla, creaminess. This is the scent for you. It's very, very lactonic. It's very creamy. It's quite heavy and intense. So keep that in mind. With Italica, I really have to be in the mood for this fragrance because it is quite in your face. It's intense, like I said, but it is so delectable and almost a Addictive. When I first smelled this, I was blown away. Get a sample because this is not safe blind buy. I'm gonna tell you that right away, it is not. So please do yourself a favor and get a sample before investing in a full size bottle. But if you love very, very, very lactonic fragrances, quite thick and heavy and dense, very creamy and milky like, this is Italica right here. It's a true gourmand that literally doesn't smell like a perfume in my opinion, it smells like an entire dessert. So if you got that Netflix and chill kind of moment and you wanna smell like a whole snack, this is it. The next fragrance that I have, I actually mentioned it in my fall fragrance haul video, but I just love this one and I think it has to be on this list and I'm gonna repeat it over and over. You absolutely need it. And what I love about this fragrance is that it is very unisex. So both you and your man can wear this fragrance and pull it off so smoothly. This is Killian's Angel's Share and it is so stunning. It was literally love at first sniff when it first came out. It gained so much popularity and for all the right reasons. This is an addictive scent. It's boozy, it's warm, it's cozy, yet sexy, it's spicy, it's gourmand. It literally has all the elements that you need for a perfect fall and winter scent and it is perfectly unisex. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this one. You get a nice note of cinnamon in this fragrance and it just is beautiful. I love it. I love it. It smells like, it smells like the holidays to me every single time I smell this one. And I think it's because when I first purchased it, it was literally close to Christmas. And so it really reminds me of the holidays. Like if you are going to like a Thanksgiving dinner, if you are going to a Christmas dinner, this just smells stunning on those days, but honestly, it's a beautiful scent for every day. Um, you could pull this off during the day, but also in the evening time, it smells divine. It smells expensive. It smells confident and it's just like cozy and inviting, but at the same time, it is very alluring. This bottle is one of my favorite fragrance bottles. I just think that it is so beautiful and very unique and just catchy. Every time I look at this bottle, I am mesmerized. The color of the juice, the plaque, everything just goes together. 
<sighs> so the next fragrance that I have here is actually a YouTuber collaboration with a very prestige fragrance house that I adore to my core. This is Fragrance Dubois' Minute ou Demi, Demi, <laughs> in collaboration with Demi Roland. She's a very popular fragrance reviewer that I'm sure you guys know about her. She went ahead and did this fragrance and I think she did a fantastic job. Now, the first time that I tried this fragrance, I only had a sample and now I have a full size bottle and I cannot wait to really experience this fragrance during the fall and winter time. This is to me a very heavy fragrance. It's really in your face. It's very loud and outspoken and confident and it just smells very delectable. It's quite complex. It's not a simple, simple fragrance. <sighs> There's something in here that makes my mouth water. Oh my God. It's lavish. This is, I believe, marketed as unisex, but to me, it definitely leans a little more feminine in my personal opinion. So that's why I really, really like it. There is this smooth sweetness to this fragrance that really captivates my attention. It is stunning, stunning, stunning. I think she did a really, really good job. Is it extremely unique? I'm gonna be honest. I, I feel like I have smelled something very, very similar to this fragrance, but I still appreciate the complexity, the way that this fragrance is handled, the way that the notes are mixed together. I absolutely love the packaging. You guys know that I love Fragrance Dubois as a house. And I think that when it comes to niche fragrances, they really just know what they are doing. Like it's a whole experience when you open up their bottle. So I'm really excited to play around with this one. Again, I had a sample, but now I am all done with my sample and I get to have fun with this gorgeous bottle. The next fragrance that I have is from Killian again, and this is Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, sweet, sweet fragrance, okay? I'm being heavy on the sweetness because this one is one of my sweetest fragrance when it comes to my entire collection, but I love the extreme version because you get a little bit more character in this one. It smells a little bit more sophisticated, more grown. There is beautiful floral notes in there, but the sweetness is definitely going to pull on your skin and it's very delicious. I know people go crazy for the original one, but on my skin, that one really just didn't do anything for me. I felt like it was very flat. Um, it was just sugar sweet. And then it disappeared after like half an hour to an hour. While this one I find shines a little bit better. It vibes in my personality a little bit better. Is it still sweet? Absolutely, like I said from the beginning, it is a very sweet fragrance. But there's something in this one that is a little more special and Oh God, the sweetness in this one is addictive. Like this is gorgeous, like gorgeous. And what I love about this particular fragrance is you can really mix this with other fragrances because of that sweet vanillic base. It goes beautifully with so many of my other scents. I have a really, really, really inexpensive one. And this one, you can pick it up at Sephora. Some people, uh, no, actually a lot of people wear this fragrance during the summertime. And I'm always asking myself how, because this is, so sweet. This is from Brazilian Crush and it is Shadoza 71. It is the delicious gourmand fragrance that you need. It is a body mist, but I think that the way that it sits on the skin is pretty decent for the price point. I have worn a little bit of it, but not honestly, not a lot, not as much as I anticipated because I do find this one very, very, very sweet. So this is more of like a winter scent to be honest with you guys. And then I like to mix it with other scents because I do find that it can be a little too sweet on my skin. But if you love your sweet nutty fragrances that is rich, and very gourmand. This is something that you will absolutely adore. And like I said, it is more on the affordable price point. It's definitely got that nutty, nutty us aspect. Ooh, 
it's kind of like buttery, almost like a whipped butter consistency when you smell this one, but it is gorgeous. Definitely heavy on the vanilla and that nuttiness in this fragrance just gives it a little bit more depth. It's a beautiful scent, but like I said, on me, it can pull a little too sweet. So I tend to mix it with other fragrances that maybe have a deeper coffee note that are a little bit more rich, even with the um, Mugler scent, this vibes really nicely, or I've even mixed it with Angel's Share. So I tend to mix my super, super sweet scents with other fragrances that are still in the gourmand realm, but have a little bit more complexity and more depth just to bring this out a little bit more. So next we're talking something a little bit more grown, a little bit more sexy evening time. And this is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. To me, this is still gourmand, but it's more of a fruity gourmand. It's not going to be your sugary, chocolatey, caramel kind of gourmand. It's going to be your deep, juicy, cherry gourmand. I have tried other cherry fragrances like from BZK and I find that that one was a little bit more relaxed. This one has a little bit more depth. It's, it's a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more grown and I just love this fragrance. Paired with an all black outfit or even like dark tones in the evening time you put this on and oh my goodness you can even mix this fragrance with another uh, more vanilla based fragrance say even this one that we just talked about mixing these together will give you like an ultimate sexy sensual kind of fragrance so don't be afraid to play around with your scents but this is beautiful if you love your cherry fragrances and I will be honest this is not the most long-lasting fragrance in my collection yes Tom Ford definitely is a hit and miss when it comes to longevity but I don't mind because I usually just top it up if I need to and most of the times when I'm wearing this fragrance it's for an evening wear so I need it just to last like a good three four hours and I'm good to Go, so it does it for me. Another fragrance that I've already mentioned in my fall roundup that I will be wearing, but I have to mention it here because I feel like this fragrance is so underrated. Like I'm so shocked that not more and more people talk about this one because when it comes to niche fragrances, this is like a gorgeous gourmand scent and that is Prada Candy Night. I adore this bottle so much. I just love the stunning gradient effect with the color scheme on the bottle. Everything about it is so sophisticated and I think that the scent is stunning. Okay, stunning. If you love your deep kind of chocolatey going towards coffee, you are going to love this scent. It is still sweet, but it's more deep. It has, it has a little bit more complexity to it. And it's stunning. For nighttime, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's a grown woman's gourmand fragrance, honestly. You cannot go wrong with this one. I absolutely love it. And I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys checking it out. Compared to the original one, like I just, I can't even compare it because this one to me just has a little bit more it has more character. The original candy from Prada is just very sugar sweet, very generic, very like, eh, it's nice, but it's nothing special. This one, she's special. The next fragrance that I have is another beautiful vanilla fragrance. And if you guys want me to do a roundup of just vanilla scents, let me know, because I do have quite a few of them in my collection. But this one is from Commodity, and this is gold. In case you didn't know, Commodity is now on Sephora's website. So if you've never tried it out, go on their website. I believe they should have a sample set that you can pick up, but they do have all of their fragrances. This one and another one that I really love, do I have it in here? I might not have it in here, is Milk. Just delectable. This one to me is more of a heavier vanilla scent. It's absolutely beautiful. And by the way, guys, try this out with Baccarat Rouge 540. You're gonna thank me later. Try it out, layer them. They're gorgeous together. The extrait's even better, but if you have the original Baccarat Rouge, layer it with Commodity Gold. I kid you not, you will be the most stunning person in a room. Like, I'm, 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 I'm not even joking, but on its own, it's a beautiful scent. 
it just smells like gold. I don't know how to describe this one. It just smells so good. And it's not overly complex at all, like at all. But there's something about it that really captures my attention. Mm. So another super affordable fragrance. It is designer. I believe this one might be discontinued, but you can still pick it up at um, different retailers online. This is definitely a rose fragrance and that is super, super, super sexy. It's perfect for date nights perfect for date nights evening wear exclusively i probably would not wear this during the day it's very sensual it's given off a vibe definitely giving off a vibe and this is from nina richie i haven't talked about this one in a really long time but it's still in my collection it's called i always get the name wrong i think it's called lex stace i will put it on the screen you guys already know but this is divine it's so beautiful so classy yet sexy and sensual and alluring sweet also <sighs> why are y'all not talking about this one more often oh my goodness mm, she's so suave she's so confident She's showing just a little bit of skin, but not too much. She's leaving some to the imagination, but she's definitely wearing something very form hugging. Red lipstick. Oh, this is, this is gorgeous. If you're looking for your next date night scent, no matter the time of the year, but date night. So we're, we're wearing this during the evening. Get this. The next fragrance that I have is more of a cozy scent. It's very warm, it's powdery. It's honestly perfect for the winter. And I only, only wear this during the winter time because of the powderiness in this fragrance that I feel like not a lot of people warned me about when I watched those reviews, but this is a powdery scent. This is Feb Delicieuse from Christian Dior. I got this in my collection and I was so happy because I was looking for this fragrance for a really, really long time. This is again, warm, warm and powdery. <laughs> It's a beautiful scent, but I have to go very light handed with it because I do get quite overwhelmed with the powderiness in the scent, but I think it's so beautiful. It's delicious. It really is a delicious fragrance that is just, it feels like a warm hug to me. And I feel like this just wears so beautifully when you are in the colder months, you're wearing layers of clothing, you got your scarf on, you got your sweaters, your turtlenecks. It just is an entire vibe. And I think it's well worth checking out. Even if you don't get yourself a full size bottle, get a sample. If you love gourmands, if you love warm fr fragrances that are very cozy and very powdery, you might really love this one. I personally don't like super powdery fragrances and that is probably why I don't wear this as often as I thought I would. It's still a very popular fragrance and for all of the right reasons. And I just, I love the Dior bottles. I just love them. Next Gourmand is a very sophisticated gourmand. It's in the niche realm. It is pricey, but I love her. This is Gersoff's La Capitale. If you wanna smell, like the most expensive dessert on the menu, get this fragrance. What I love about this particular gourmand is that you can definitely still smell like you were wearing perfume, like a very luxurious, sophisticated fragrance, but it has beautiful notes of strawberry in here. So it's juicy, it's sweet. I think there is caramel in here too. It's a very, very kind of clean gourmand. It is sweet. It is a sweet fragrance, but it's so easy to fall in love with the scent and the bottle is just divine. Like with yours off, you're not going to go wrong when it comes to packaging and presentation. I think that like Gersoff and Kill not Killian, um, Fragrance Du Bois, they have the most luxurious packaging from the box to the actual bottles, absolutely exquisite. And this fragrance just is stunning. 
a little goes a long way with this fragrance i do find that it projects really loudly and even for me i find that it can give me a little bit of a headache so i do maybe about three to four sprays max and i am good to go so guys that is it for this video i'm going to end it here as i talked about so many different fragrances everything will be listed down in the description box so check it out there i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave your comments down below and i'll see you on the next one bye